Hey guys, got a nice quick short one for you today. I'm going to be showing you how I do my partings for my knotless braids. And this can just be for any type of braided hairstyle in general, guys. So I'm just showing you here, guys, all the partings that I have. Yes, they're not absolutely neat, but what do you know? I did them by myself, okay? <laughs> so first you want to start off with a middle parting all the way down the back of the head. And I'm just showing you here, I've got a plait here in between. However, I did start off with parting down the middle of my head and two pigtails. Once I've got my two pigtails in place, I'm then going to show you where I usually start my braids off and I like to start at the back just because it's the easiest. Now my very first plaits I do are these two plaits at the back, as I said just because it's the easiest. And I start off with a horizontal line just in the middle of the back of my ears as you can see. Bearing in mind I already had my middle part in to start these plaits. Now I'm demonstrating the second row that I'm doing and that line starts just above my ears as you can see guys. And this is where you start to see the bricklayer pattern or the step pattern. Creating this pattern ensures that the plaits will be sitting nice and neatly in between each other rather than on top of each other. Progressing further up my head, I like to continue with these five plaits and I leave the first two on either side of my head near my temple. I don't add them into this line. Reason being is because I prefer to do this back section by themselves and the front section as I'm showing you right now. So I'm going to quickly put this side away so I can demonstrate to you on one side of my head at the front. So as I just showed you, I've done these back sections. What I will say is if you are like me and you do this line in an incomplete section, if that makes sense, you might be aware guys that my section of the front plait near my ear is not aligned with the rest of them. But as I said, I did this by myself guys and it took nine hours, nine hours guys. So I think I did pretty well on this occasion. And there I just showed you how I sectioned off the front to deal with the very, very front of my head. So working from back to front of my head, this is how I do the front section. So again, I do the ladder effect. So I section off a part and this is the first play I do by my ear. Then again, I section another piece as I'm showing you. And then I split it down the middle. So you've got that brick layer effect or the step ladder effect. And then we're gonna do it again with this section so now I'm going to do three so I don't want my partings lining up like this guys I want the pattern so they can just lie in between one another and again at the top the very last ones I'm going to do three plaits however again I'm not going to let the partings line up and then what this does brings us back to the original line in the middle of my head where I first started when I sectioned my hair into two in the very beginning And I pretty much did this middle section. I did it before the front section, but I'm just showing you, I pretty much did it in the same way. So I've done the layered effect. As you can see, I've got one plait, then I've got two plaits, and I'm not lining up the partings together. There you go. So you've got the brick pattern. As you can see, that middle parting, I've had to now put a plait in that section where I'm showing you. So I've got a kind of zigzagged type of effect. Hopefully you found that useful and I didn't uh, confuse you too much, guys. <laughs> so now I'm just going to show you overall the complete look, how my hair looks with the partings. Okay, and this is how my extensions look all together. And this was uh, about the sixth week of wearing my extensions like this, guys. So I have got some nice new growth. My hair's a bit fluffy. And I'm just showing you at the back now the pattern that it created doing these partings. Now, as I said, they're not super straight. I didn't use the edge control to neaten up my partings because I just, I wasn't really interested in doing that. However, I managed to do it, guys. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Join me next week where I will be showing you something else. I'm not quite sure yet. <laughs> and if you want to see more from me, click onto this video next.